So, uh, as I'm walking again through this investment property, I think I've got a few points for those folks who think that this is an easy thing to do. Um, <clears throat> when we say it's a contractor's dream, a property like this really means you need to have a contractor or a team of contractors helping you with this. Um, <clears throat> so that's something to consider. We have seen, I have seen folks who will buy an investment property never having done anything like this before, not having done their due diligence, meaning got a contractor or a team or have had some experience doing this before in to have a look at the property and that's how you end up in tears. So uh, the other thing you need to know, you need to know, so a building like this, three units in the inner Richmond, they're basically three bedroom units. What are you really gonna get for that? Four grand a month, maybe? Yeah, let's say four grand a month. You need to know down to the dime, what are you actually gonna earn per month from this property? What's it gonna cost to turn this into something nice? Um, how long is it gonna take to pay that down? What is it gonna be per year? So really, if you wanna invest in something like this, you need to do your homework and I would seek the advice of a commercial broker. This is nothing for a residential broker. Unless they have um, past experience with investment properties, no. You need someone who understands capital, understands the market, understands uh, square footage, understands what it costs to turn a place like this into a nice income generating property.